Hearts of Fire and The Nanny won't be seen tonight. Please stay tuned for this special presentation. Hello, this is Billy Core from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. Today is September 24th, 2013, a Tuesday. It's hard to believe it's only three months until Christmas Eve. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's about 11.45 uh, in the morning and my parents are on their way to Winston-Salem right now and they gave me permission while they're gone to do something pretty awesome I just did here in the dining room. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present to you a simulation of my childhood circa 1996. And here it is. I brought my Packard Bell Legend 822 CDT back into the dining room where where its original lo which is its original home. Now, it's not exactly like it was because um I have it on the dining room table obviously and originally in the 90s it was over here where this um stereo console is now um there there used to be a desk here for it to sit on and everything but that's long gone plus this stereo console is a little too small to put all this stuff on so I had to improvise a little bit so um I haven't booted it up yet um got everything hooked up here I got the computer itself got the monitor keyboard which is from my legend 1510 supreme mouse and a sidewinder 3d pro joystick so yeah it's um i think we're good to go so let's all right monitor is on and in the words of uxw bill smoke test That's not good. Oh, I see the, the inner key was stuck for some reason, but <sighs> smoke test number two. <laughs> huh. Monitor needs to be adjusted just a little bit. Yeah, this is where it all happened originally, folks. Yeah, I forgot to turn the sound back up, but yeah, it... Man, this is awesome. <laughs> See, I'm going to be documenting, documenting the next hour or two of me playing around with the Legend 822 CDT and it's original home try make a few adjustments to the monitor I think what happened here was I usually have it hooked, hooked up to my um, PC to TV encoder so it was probably reset or something but yeah um, this is it folks <laughs> back in its natural habitat after all these years I think it looks better in here actually it's the screens a lot brighter it seems I guess the first thing we should do is go into Packard Bell Navigator welcome from Packard Bell we offer you two computing environments to choose from Packard Bell's Navigator or Microsoft Windows you may also begin by taking a quick lesson on using the mouse yep the mouse lesson was originally taken in this room <laughs> Yeah, it, it's pretty much um, your standard fare Packard Bell stuff, except 
in its natural habitat now. <laughs> Yeah, now that we know it works, I will run back into my bedroom and grab some computer games to try out. Be back in a little bit. Well, I'm back here. Um, it's about 10 minutes later, and I'm playing a little game of Putt Putt Joins the Parade. And, and boy, the nostalgia is at an all time high right now. <laughs> Now we're about to commence in the most boring part of any kind of humongous entertainment game, in my opinion. How's it going, little sport? What can I do for you? Now you shouldn't say that in a kid's game. I would like to mow your lawn. Cool! You can mow my lawn. Oh, yes. The, now, technically, um, and my good friend Lego King here on YouTube pointed this out to me, but Technically, all you have to do is um, mow the edges, and you're, and that's all you can, all you have to do. But I like to go one step further, <laughs> just for authenticity, especially today, since I'm in the dining room. Maybe yeah, got on a bone. Yeah, I plan on playing this, maybe Patty Bear's Birthday Surprise, and maybe um, Earthworm Jim, that's why I brought the toy stick in here. You know, you, you guys can probably go get yourself a drink or get some more snacks, go to the restroom. This isn't very exciting, isn't it? So what, I'll come back in a few minutes from that more entertaining part of the game. Alright, just fed the, the birds some bird seed here. I'm delivering groceries for Mr. Baldini. Going to number three, Green Street. You know, this this game has a very, very weak currency system. I mean, just one little coin. <laughs> uh, might, we might as well um, go mow the grass again. Well, actually, let's do it on Red Street, but let's go now I can cross. pick up Putt Putt's Magnet from the toy store for some reason. I do hate it when that happens, when you go across town to get something you really need and find out they're sold out. Not fun. Not fun at all. So this is where I left my magnets. Yeah, I'm leaving them magnets all over the place. Like, just last week I left my magnet at Walmart and they sold it. I want to tell a riddle. No, I want to. My turn. No, me first. Well, somebody's got to be first. Who's it going to be? Um, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, to catch a packer, but oh, whatever. We'll go with the Here's rabbit. How Saturday night, cows like to go to the movies. The movie, the movie. <laughs> you know, it's amazing when you're a kid how these cheesy jokes were actually entertaining. I have no clue what he just said. And 
I'll be saying bye bye for just a minute. We'll be back after a while. Come on, everybody. Let's go. Yep, I'm at the end of Putt Putt Joins the Parade now. This is this is awesome, folks. <laughs> it seems so simple, but there's a lot to this, believe me. Yay, domesticated boxes. <laughs> hey, Daddy Bear. That pretty good. <laughs> I love this music, by the way. And of course, Putt Putt. And the game sails off into the sunset. You know, interesting story, um, these early humongous entertainment games, whenever it would ask you if you wanted to play again, on our original 822, I haven't tried it on this 822 yet, but it seemed like always, whenever you'd press the green button to play again, the game would just crash and just derp out all of a sudden. So I'm not sure what was up with that. But um, we're now done with the um, Putt Putt Joins the Parade. We'll put that back, and I think we'll go to Earthworm Gym now. Which I have. Oh, <laughs> it just folded up. My original copy from 1996. Joy stick out here. Groovy. A little bit of dust on the monitor. What's interesting is that I've actually never played the um, the Super Nintendo or the Genesis versions of these games, which are the original and the most popular, so... <laughs> New Junk City. I'm sorry, I just gotta do this. <laughs> And Jay Wakefield, aka Video Song Frontiers, this this one's for you. Ladies and gentlemen, the cow has been launched. That's right, it has been launched. Oh boy, this this just feels right. It just it just feels right. <laughs> This is actually a, a shortcut for this level that I found out about, I guess, 10 years ago. Yep. Yep, I know, I had one job. say this, but back then, games had a sense of humor. That's oh, okay, I'm cheating. <laughs> I 
Nude. This part made me laugh out loud when I was a kid. When you when you would say I'm nude. <laughs> I'm nude. Yeah, you speed playing. memories playing this game, especially a certain level that we'll be looking at in a few moments. Speaking of burping, <laughs> the other day I was at a restaurant eating lunch and there was this old man behind me who kept burping real loud. Very disgusting. <laughs> now we're off to Andy Asteroids. <laughs> They're meatballs. Yay, meatballs. Groovy. That's so old psycho. Oh, Groovy. Oh, Yeah, there's one of these um, in every part of the game, but it, it gets harder and harder as you go along. In fact, this is the only this is the only Andy Asteroids I can actually beat. I win! Yay, I win. skip this level and go to the next one because this is what I really want you guys to see. Big Broody. This level, man, this is probably the most memorable part of this game for me. Big Broody, and you'll see why in just a moment. Cheater. Broody. Now these bees, they're all over this level and they annoy the crap out of me. Ruby. We know you. I'll probably just ignore them, but I'm not that kind of guy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why this level is my favorite. <laughs> you see, there's this giant 
dinosaur slash frog mutant. <laughs> Love that too. There's this giant dinosaur slash frog mutant that likes to eat or worm Jim whole, and it makes me laugh out loud for some reason. <laughs> So, um, what you pretty much have to do is kind of trick him to get past. By doing this. And you keep doing this all throughout the level. Of course, there are different ways of doing that. But, um, I'll go ahead and end the video here for now. I'll be back in a few minutes. Now back, and I figured it's... Now's a good time to play a Packer Bell bundled game. Just to make it all that more awesome. Put Earthworm Jim back in here. Uh, let's see. And we're going to play my old standby. My first encyclopedia. <laughs> and this is the original copy that came with my original 822, by the way. Now it's already 1230. I've been doing this for almost an hour. <laughs> so we'll go to the start menu. I think which is thankfully on Windows 95 is it's not a start screen. Okay, we need multimedia applications. I need to try these um, two buttons sometimes, see what they do. Welcome to my first encyclopedia, a magical place to learn and play. It's a cool place to learn, a place where kids teach kids about things that are important in our world. We're here to tell you everything you need to know about this special tree. Put your hand on the mouse like this. Okay. If you want to climb the tree, just move your cursor up to the top of the screen. All right. And everyone on three. One, two, three. What do we eat? None of your business. <laughs> It never gets old. This is our secret tree kitchen. Today it's my turn to cook. Yeah, I'm sure uh, Mushroom Head Kid's gonna cook up a great delicacy for us tonight. And... Mmm! <laughs> so we'll start off by clicking on the oven. Oven? Oh no, be careful! Wait, what? Oven? Oh no, be careful. This is hot. It's oh, hot. really? An oven is a special cabinet that you can make very, very warm inside. You can bake cake. Now well, let's go see about that. Let me go over to, to the oven over here. Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we'll, um,. Camera back over here. It'll let me. <laughs> oh no, my battery's dying. I'll be back in a minute. Hopefully, my battery will cooperate, but we're about, but, but we're now in Dawson. We're about to play an old classic here. That's right, Skyroad's Christmas special, and my battery is dying again. The only thing is, I don't have anywhere to plug it in yet. <laughs> I'll figure something out. Alright, here we go. 
road number one. And my joystick is freaking out. I'll be right back, folks. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Um, I really don't know what to do about the keyboard and DOS right now, but, um, I mean the joystick and DOS, so I'm, so I'm going to use the keyboard instead. Also, I hooked the camera up to a nearby outlet, which I didn't think would reach, but it did, so we should be good to go as far as the battery is concerned. So we'll just uh, change directory here, go back into Skyrooms. So we'll have to change the setting here to keyboard. So let's try it again, row number one. It's going now. Easy as usual. Oh, my favorite song. <laughs> this is row number two, by the way. wondering why I was so quiet. I had a really big nostalgic moment. <laughs> so anyway, we'll now um, proceed with the infamous row number three and see what happens. See if it's any different in the dining room. Actually, it's worse! I'm okay. And be right back, the phone's Here I am, I'm playing a little game of Fatty Bear's Birthday Surprise, one of my all-time favorites. Now, back in 1996, um, it was a, a nightly tradition for me to, to play this with a while drinking from a can of Pepsi. Well, I don't have a can of Pepsi with me today, but um, we'll just have to make do with this brisk iced tea. <laughs> so that's better than nothing. So right now I'm at the part where I have to get a new ribbon for the puppies box, which again, again, I can't help but point out the fact that, that Kayla's parents stuck a, a living creature in a box with no Air holes. Bows and ribbons. This is exactly what I need. No, what you, exactly what you need is a new owner because her parents are crazy. <laughs> and you're not much more. And you're not. And you're about just as crazy, I would say. I hate it when they give the letters away so soon. Patty Bear, I was just upstairs. The puppies run off with the letters for the a happy birthday sign. Oh, gracious. I think Gretchen might need your help up in Kayla's room. Oh, I zoomed in this a little bit. So we'll let this poor little creature resume its suffocation. I think I'll end the video for another few minutes and I will resume once I'm baking the cake. Alright, um, we're about to bake the cake. Okay, the eggs. Do your usual stuff. story, we'll add the eggs. I don't recall actual eggs ever making that sound, but okay. Mm, yummy. One cup mini chocolate chips. It's time for baking powder. Now the cake will puff up like a pillow. You know,
know, a good, a fr good friend of mine from my Packerville Facebook group actually um, baked a chocolate ch chip birthday cake just as shown in this game. It calls you see if you click here, it'll give you the recipe. I need one half cup of milk. And I hope I don't it looked that. delicious, to be honest with you, although it for some reason it looked like a giant donut. Oh, am I careful? I am mixing a birthday cake. Now available from Mum's Records. Now I need to bake it. I'll put the cake in the oven for you, Fatty. Thank you very much, Matilda Rabbit. And we will now witness the only oven in, a, in existence that is powered by plutonium. Because look how look how quick it takes to bake a cake. Talking about now you can it. Decorate it. Inside joke. Decorating will be fun. Now nah, we'll just skip through this real quick. Just put a bunch of fatty bears on there. <laughs> Here it is, a chocolatey chip birthday. Well, cake. I really need to start cutting to the chase with this Packard Bell. I, I actually have errands. I need to run in Greensboro, so. I need to Thank hurry you up very and much, grow Rabbit. up, I guess. <laughs> we should do this every night, Fatty Bear. This is uh, fun. We have you to. can make another cake if you want to. The ingredients are on the counter. No, thank you. Uh, we will be back in a few minutes again. I figure we'll do one more thing before we um, call it a day on here. We will... Um, do a short little canyon test. I figure that's only proper. There we go. Well, folks, that'll just about do it. Um, this was a very fun couple of hours. Um, really took me back. Um, and, you know, just goes to show you um, the power of nostalgia. It can do wonderful things, and it's an awesome, awesome feeling. And I guess we will um, first we'll take um, Fatty Bear out of the CD-ROM. All right, give up the goods. There we go. I'll just set it there for now. Again, my original copy <laughs> from the 90s it is. We'll go ahead and shut her on down. And folks, this is Billy Core signing off on um, Tuesday, September 24th, 2013.
Goodbye.